Welcome back. Today, I wanted to discuss a five-step method that I like to use and that I think everybody should be using related to real estate investing, whether you're investing directly or whether you're investing passively. I think everything really starts with dream. And so the first part is dreaming. You have to have a vision. You have to think about what it is that you actually want related to your real estate investing goals. Is it more money? Is it more wealth? Is it more assets? Is it more material possessions? You have to dream. And I think most people are good at this. Most people can fantasize a different life than they already have. And that's not necessarily what this is. This is more thinking bigger than what you're already doing. Thinking big about what it is that could enhance your life, what it is that could make your life better not to have the life that someone else has, but what is your dream for your life, for your family, for your loved ones, for the causes that you care about? And then the next step is how do you get there? Well, that comes with planning. And so you really do need to sit down. Once you have your dream, figure out how much money you're making, how much money you're spending, how much is left over every year. Can you use that for investments? If you can do that for a number of years and build up over time, you'll be able to continue on your journey of real estate investing, whether that's direct, passive, whether it's a combination thereof, whether it's enhancing your lifestyle, but you need to plan and see what is important to you. Are you trying to make an extra $50,000 per year? What would that look like passively? How much would you have to invest in order to get to that 50000 so first you need to have the dream, then you need to start planning. The next step after planning is once you have a plan in place, once you know what it is that you want to invest in, what geographic markets, what you're looking for for your life, how to improve it, then you need to start analyzing different deals. You need to start analyzing different strategies and determines which ones make the most sense for you. Are you going to start with investing in multifamily? and then move to industrial or medical? Are you gonna invest in a fund so you get diversification right away? You need to do some analysis on these different strategies and determine what's gonna fit you best. How much time do you have to research deals? How much time do you have to research various sponsors? And then do that analysis so that you can really engage on the next step, which is invest. Once you've done the analysis, you really have to make a decision. Is this a property? Is this an investment that I invest in? How much should I invest in this property? How much should I invest in this strategy? But you have to pull the trigger. Once you are comfortable with the analysis and you believe it's a deal that makes sense, then you have to say, I'm going to take action. I am going to invest. And then the last step is really that you have to repeat this cycle. So you got to keep dreaming. You got to keep planning every single year. You have to keep doing analysis on deals all the time. And then you have to make decisions about which deals to invest in so that you can repeat that cycle. At some point, it starts to snowball. One thing that people tell me all the time is that real estate feels like it's the slow nickel. It's very slow. It builds up. But the thing is, is that if you do it regularly, if you do it consistently over time, it doesn't take that long to actually build up to a place where it starts to snowball. Now, let's assume over time that you're investing $25,000 a year and you're doing that consistently over the next 10 years. That's $250,000 that's saved. But let's use the example of your first $25,000. If you invest that in year one, let's assume by year five, that that money has doubled cash flow plus profit. So now at the end of that five year period, that's actually worth 50,000. So you can either take that 50,000 and you can reinvest that into two deals at 25,000 each, or you can now do another deal where you put in 50,000. That becomes a different strategy. But if that starts happening after about five years, all that time, you can start slowly seeing how you're gonna be getting nice little pops and then it starts to snowball. If in 15 years, that 250,000 is now all of a sudden worth 500,000 or 750,000 just from the growth in the investments that you're making, it's very wise to start as early as you can 
take that cash flow, take the profits, take any capital events, refinance, recapitalization, whatever it is, and reinvest that in new cash flowing properties with upside potential. And then that way, you repeating the cycle actually gets you back to the first step, which is your dream. And then your dream can get bigger. Your dream can stay the same. Your dream can morph. It's really up to you. But it really starts with dreaming. You have to think about what it is that you want, plan about how to get there, then do the analysis on the different deals and the different sponsors and the different investment strategies. Make sure you invest. And then once you invest, you keep repeating the cycle. Put a plan in place that allows you to get to this level where you can do the analysis, do the investing, and then repeat the cycle because that's how you will build wealth over time. That's how you can obtain financial freedom over time. And that's how you can figure out what it is that you want to do in your life long term. So I hope this video was helpful. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. But in the meantime, please feel free to share it, like, subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you again. Till next time, let's continue growing our passive cash flow and net worth together.